Although recalls are often observed in the camera industry, Nikon's recent recall of the Nikon Z8 is quite disappointing for camera enthusiasts. It's not even a full month since the announcement and the reason for the recall is the worst nightmare for any user. So what happened? And how can you apply for the free recall program of Nikon Z8? Let's find out. Well, Nikon recently released a press note on its website saying that Nikon has received reports from Z8 camera users. In rare cases, the lens cannot be securely attached to the camera due to the inability to rotate it into the locked position. This situation occurred when certain users tried to mount a 50mm 1.8S lens onto their Z8 camera body. After conducting an investigation, Nikon has determined that this issue may affect the specific range of Z8 camera serial numbers. To resolve this problem, they'll offer free repairs of the affected Z8 cameras covering the shipping costs to and from Nikon, even if the warranty has expired. After digging deep, we found that the issue lies with the mounting circle that's used to attach the lens to the camera during photography. However, the mount is not as secure as it should be, causing the lens to be inserted but not tightly enough to rotate and attach properly. This may result in the lens not locking down as it should and Nikon has not provided any explanation for the exact reason behind this mounting problem. However, it's important to note that this issue may not necessarily occur right out of the box, so it's not worth risking encountering it at an inconvenient time. While the potential impact on resale value remains speculative, previous recalls have affected Nikon's resale values. Some knowledgeable buyers may even check the serial number before making a purchase. By a process of elimination, it appears that the issue affects the first 10,000 serial numbers in the United States. Now, to determine if your Z8 camera is affected by the lens mounting issue, you can check the affected product serial numbers on Nikon's website and enter your camera serial number as instructed. If your camera is among the affected ones, you'll receive an on-screen instruction for requesting service. And if your camera is not affected, you can continue using it without any concerns regarding this particular issue. To find your camera serial number, simply open the rear monitor of the camera and locate a 7-digit number on a label attached to the camera body, which is indicated by the red frame in the image here. It's not the first time Nikon cameras had this type of recall. Earlier, the same issue led to the recall of Z9s after their release, which raises concerns about Nikon's quality control and parts procurement. To be honest, considering how long it took for some people to get the repairs last time, it'll probably be quicker, hopefully. It's unreasonable for anyone to have wait for repairs on a faulty item during the exchange period. Perhaps everyone will be placed in a repair queue lasting 15 to 30 days. It's actually unfortunate that a $4,000 camera would face such an issue. But don't be disheartened if you're one of the affected ones. The current number of product recalls is not greater than it was in the past. The period between 2004 and 2017 witnessed the highest yearly occurrence of product recalls in the United States. Even without considering the peak, the variation in recalls between 2004 and 2022 has only fluctuated by a percentage point or two. And in terms of cameras, during the DSLR and mirrorless era, Canon has experienced four recalls for interchangeable lens cameras, including one mirrorless, while Sony has had none. On the other hand, Nikon has encountered eight recalls, including four mirrorless cameras, along with two battery recalls. We just hope Nikon fixes this issue as soon as possible and tries to improve QC for its upcoming products. So what do you think about this sudden recall of the Nikon C8? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below and consider subscribing for more camera industry news like this and thanks for watching.